We're joined now by Super Investor Mario Gabelli. Mr. Gabelli, welcome back to Halftime. Nice to see you again. Great to be on it with you and your team. Let me ask you, how do you see the markets today? I haven't heard from you in a while, so I'm interested in your view. Well, we basically look at stocks with a microscope, look at the earnings, but we also talk to managements. And for the first time in probably the 1970s, am I hearing individuals that I talk to at run companies saying, you know, we're able to get a price increase. Much easier than we thought. All they want to know is, can we supply? And so those are the logistics. You're seeing inventories bid up. And so from that point of view of revenues, the real growth plus nominal increases, you're seeing significant revenues. You're seeing the gross margin maintenance in dollars, but some erosion. But that's going to be taken care of. It depends whether you're LIFO, FIFO accounting and some other dynamics. And also some companies anticipated what they're going to need in supply. And so they bought and hedged. Those are running off. So they're now going in for price increases. SGNA is not rising as much as revenues. So you have an increase in pre-tax profits. Then what the question you have to ask is, book taxes are going up and cash taxes are going up, independent of what's going to happen with a tax rate. As an example, I, I bought equipment in, 19, in 2016. I'm writing it off slowly. That gives me a tax deduction. After 2018 or right now, I get 100% write off. So those are some of the elements. Uh, from the stock market's point of view, the big kahuna for me is obviously what's the multiple. And uh, I'm in the camp of those that expects uh, inflation to continue. And as a result of that, rates go up. And over the next five or 10 years, you'll just have a fairly significant headwind on a multiple. Uh, so the, mul uh, so the multiple, OK, so you expect the multiple. I mean, it's like a Paul Tudor Jones was talking about. If that happens, if rates go up significantly, the multiple on the S&P needs to come in considerably from where it is today to maybe well, you know, 16, 17 yeah. times. He, he, he was talking about that. I, I don't have a number. I'm, I'm sure he's done more quant work bottoms up than I would do. But we're looking at company specifics and we're saying, do they have pricing power? How mm -hmm. do I preserve my clients wealth? How do I preserve in an inflationary environment, what companies have earnings power, what co managements? For example, Genuine Parts' is, management has gone through this in the 1970s. They understand inflation. They, then which companies have LIFO, FIFO accounting? What's the difference? Uh, so that's the benefit of taking cost accounting 60 years ago. <laughs>